神経霊いて入る Hello everyone, Sifu here and today I bring you my second build for Dream of the Wise. Before I start explaining the build, I would like to thank you everyone because you're showing support to the channel and I started the channel back on April uh, now we are on 100 plus subscribers and I'm really glad for it that you're enjoying my, my content. Thank you very much for your support, I do really appreciate it. Now uh, moving along with the build, the build is a Susano set plus Imperial Ward or Demon Slayer set, whatever you want to call it. A stat should look like this. Um, I will say that the stat that you should go over 100 in the meantime will be magic, just because we are using ultimate magic. So we can take advantage of both Mystic cards for magic and our buffs will endure a little bit more. Weapons are fist and split staff, so that's why I have 99 heart, 99 courage, and 150 magic. Since the split staff scales from courage and magic, and our fists will scale, or it is scaling with heart and magic. Uh, 70 constitution, because you know, dream of the wise, every, everyone hits really hard, so it's really good to have a really good amount of life. I would say that if you want to go with a second stat over 100 and to reach it to 150, I would say Courage. Ultimate Courage is really good, it gives us an extra perk, so you can go with Ultimate Courage and Ultimate Magic. But overall, uh, with these stats, with the level I'm with, 480, we are smashing every boss, if you, if you know how to use the build, of course. So this is a challenging build especially since it has versatility so well, at least we, are, we, would, we will take advantage of versatility uh, with this set honestly um, I'm really satisfied with this build so as I said uh, we are using fist and split stuff both weapons are in purity and stats for the weapon for, for the fist should look like this 
Um, as you can see, I use the transform magic, so now our feet will be scaling with magic and hard. So I have attack bonus magic, grapple damage, and the two star effects. Now, um, I would say that if you are going to grind for a really good fist, I would say that instead of life drain after skill, you should go with a star grapple damage. So we can do more uh, grapple damage to the enemies. But overall, this is good. So if you would like to keep it like this, or if you would like to change it, you can go ahead and change it. Our split stuff um, is in purity as well, as I said. We have attack bonus magic and twin phoenix key damage. Now, this is up to you, honestly. You can go with dragon dance key damage if you would like to, or twin phoenix key damage. I personally went for the twin phoenix, and the reason why is because I feel that it uh, it does more key damage than dragon dance. And the good thing is that you can perform a combo because Twin Phoenix it can be divided by three attacks so that's really good, it will be doing uh, more key damage. Then you can spam Gozuki and you can obliterate the, the boss or any enemy. I have uh, Purified Accumulation and Mystic Dias Splista. As you can see there's one missing slot, um, you can go with any other inheritable, it will be Life Drain Melee Attack. Both weapons are Susano, so we can take advantage of the six pieces of versatility. Both ranged weapons are also Susano. And the full set is Imperial Ward or Dragon Slayer, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the reason why I went for the Demon Slayer set is because with six pieces you get Anima Bonus Purified Enemy 8. And with five pieces you get Purified Accumulation, accumulation sorry. 50% so the 5th and the 6th uh, set bonus for me is really attractive especially the anima bonus purified enemy 8 your enemy will be always purified so it has a really good income from anima so you can gain anima fast I would say that for star effects you should go with Omnium magic power on every set piece Unfortunately, on my chest piece, I don't have Omnia Magic Power. I don't know if the chest could have Ninjutsu, Star Ninjutsu Power or Omnia Magic Power, but I wasn't able to get it. The helmet is really good. As you saw, I have increased attack with the enemy, Anima Charge Melee Attack, and Omnia Magic Power. In my chest, I have Ab Star Abdi Skill Damage. However, the ideal thing is to go with elemental weapon damage because we are using purification talisman. With purification talisman, it counts as elemental weapon damage. So at least we'll be, we'll be doing a little bit of damage or elemental damage, let's say. Ideal will be a star, a star Omeo magic power and a star elemental weapon damage. But uh, as we all know, Dream of the Wise grind is a little bit uh, tedious so I'm fine with that. Now for our accessories I uh, was able to get this accessory which uh, in my opinion is good. It has melee damage versus purified enemy 19.8% and extended curse nullification which it will help us a lot when we grapple our enemies and we eliminate the curse, the wise curse effect. As you can see my Yasakani does not have a grace um, but the reason why I went for this one is because of the melee damage versus purified enemy. So the ideal thing, if in case if you would like to go with the seven pieces of the Demon Slayer set, would be uh, your first accessory Soul Core box and your Yasakani Susano. So you can take advantage of the counter tactics uh, Yokai A. Or if you don't want to go with the full set of the Demon Slayer, you can go with the full set of Susano, which unlocks the Mystic Dial O, which unlocks the Mystic cards for both weapons, all of them. So, and with that you can reduce the space uh, by taking out the Mystic Dial Fist or Mystic Dial Split stuff or whatever weapon you would like to go with. 
but as you can see even though the Yasakani is divine I still have the set requirement so um, I'm fine with it but overall um, even I have a lock build I've been grinding to death uh, to get good Yasakani's or ethereal Yasakani's unfortunately I have a lot of uh, divine Yasakani's and non ethereal so which means that I don't know maybe for me it's a, a very very drop so but I'm fine with my divine power scroll this one was a really hard one too as well at least our main uh, special effect is ultimate magic and the rest uh, is a decent a decent effect I would say uh, I spent over 2000 instance night to get good read balls on the scroll but unfortunately uh, I wasn't getting the things I wanted so I went for these ones and I believe that they're not bad I have Omnia Magic Power 27, Ethereal Iron Drop Rate, and Ailment Application Duration, which it will reduce the negative status. For Omnia, I went for Protection, Steel, I have Crit Change, I have Purification, I have Barrier, and for the first time, I I didn't go with Art Yokai, instead, I went for Water Familiar. The reason why is just to inflict confusion to the enemy really fast, and since the enemy will be saturated its defense will be a little bit lower so you can shred enemies or bosses real fast as you saw in the video however uh, you can change this this is not mandatory this is optional because if you would like to optimize your damage you can go with Carnage, Soul Purge and as well you can use these uh, I don't know if, if it is a Joker skill, but it is a skill that when you use an active skill, it will drain your life in exchange to do more damage. So you can go with those three, and you will do more damage than the one I'm doing. I honestly didn't go for that because I feel that it's a little bit risky, and I don't play flawlessly, so I tend to get hit a lot. So that's the reason I didn't go for that, but if if you want to go for that you can do it and trust me you will do a lot of damage um, now I went for feathers just to inflict confusion and the new thing I added in here is the fleeting guardian amulet just because I really like the guardian spirit have this skill from Ho so that's the reason I have it in here but honestly it's not it's not that important as well now for our guardian spirit the main one is Ho. Uh, the reason why I went for this one is just because of the melee damage versus purified enemy 10% so with our both accessories and with Ho, we are over not over but almost hitting the 50% melee damage versus purified enemy which is something really good because let's say that well this is a purified purify build so you always going to purify your enemy or your enemy will be always purified so you'll be doing a lot of melee damage of course the ideal thing will be to have on both accessories melee damage versus purified enemy and melee damage versus zero key enemy but we all know how grindy is uh, dream of the wise my soul course is divine kasha i have anima uh, with her and as well anima bonus scorch enemy I have Gosuki. Unfortunately, my Gosuki is not divine. But in case if you have a divine Gosuki with these stats or better ones, I highly suggest you to go with any anima income that can help you to build your anima fast. In this case, if I'm using Water Familiar, I should go with Anima Bonus uh, Saturated Enemy. But unfortunately, I don't have that uh, that inheritable so. I will do it whenever I get one. And last is Namahari. Just to have a little bit of percentage uh, with the zero key enemy, 72%, uh, it's not that bad, not that good as well, but at least it's something. I, I have attack, anima bonus grapple, you're going to gain anima whenever you grapple the enemy, and your capability damage all. Um, I'm still grinding Namahari to get an uh, anima herbal so I can transfer to here but I guess attack plus 8 is not that bad well uh, this is the build uh, I really hope you like it 
honestly I, I really love the build it's a really good build um, and I hope you can you can do it uh, this build is not that hard to grind because uh, as the, the majority of pieces is the Imperial War one and the rest is Susano mainly on weapons for, so thank you for watching I do really appreciate it and see you in the next build take good care everyone bye bye